Friends, this is one of my server, and in this server, I have modified the FS tab. And after FS tab modification, I have rebooted the server. And you can see server corrupted and server not coming up. So, in this video, I will try to troubleshoot and I will try to recover the server. And uh, I will try to roll back the modification done in the FS tab. So, friends, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share, and comment. So, let's start the video. Now, what we will do? We will try to uh, boot the server in single user mode. For that, reboot the server. Press E here. Go to the line where it is started with Linux. Go to end. Then remove RGB quiet. Add here init is equal to slash bin slash bash. Press Ctrl X to uh, start the server. Server started in single user mode. Now, what we will do? We will uh, open the FS tab using the bi command bi slash etc slash fs tab. Try to modify. Here you can see I have added no exe. Try to delete this one. You can see. You can see the FS tab is in read only mode. And if you want to know what is no exec, I have given the video link in this description. Please watch that video so that you will get idea what is about the no exec parameter in FS tab. So you can see the FS tab is in read only mode, so we cannot modify it. Come out from the FS tab file. Now reboot the server again. Now what we will do? We will boot the server in uh, emergency mode. Give the command here exec is equal to slash sbin slash init. It will take some time to uh, restart. Go do one thing. Uh, restart manually here. Press E again here. Now go to the line starting with the Linux. Go to end. Remove RGB quiet. Add here system D dot system D dot unit is equal to emergency dot target. Now press control X. Server started in emergency mode. Uh, Give your root password. Now try to modify the FS tab. You can see same warning changing the read only, read only file. That means in emergency mode also the file is in read only mode, so you cannot modify it. Come out of the FS tab. Now what we will do, restart the server again, we will try to boot the server in uh, ISO image, we will mount the ISO image and I will try to start the server in uh, recovery mode. For that, go to manage, go to virtual machine setting, here, connect the DVD ROM and mount the ISO image, 
start the server again, restart the server. It will start the server using the db drive. Go to troubleshooting. Go to rescue Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. Wait uh, some time. It will start the server in recovery mode or rescue mode. Press one here to continue. Press enter here. Now try to modify the first step. You can see this is not the original first step configuration. Uh, because the server started with CD-ROM ISO image, that's what is giving uh, such type of output from the FS tab. But now what we'll do, uh, use the command lsblk. It will show the partitions, partitions are available in the server. And what we'll do, we'll try to mount the uh, root partition over another directory. For that, go to slash, make a uh, Directory here mkdir let's say bkp ls you can see bkp directory created here now mount the root partition over bkp directory for that use the command mount slash dev mapper RHL root then bkp now check with df hyphen h command you can see bkp is mounted so you want to remember and you want to know, remember you want to remember actually what is the partition available in your server for the root partition because i i am working in the server so i i, I can remember that db mapper RHL root is the uh, root partition You can see here RHL root and uh, uh, this RHL root is available in original available in DB and mapper. That's why I have mounted the DB mapper RHL root in slash uh, on slash BKP. Now this root partition is mounted over the BKP. Now try to edit the FS tab. Because original FS tab is available in slash BKP, we have to go to that path BI BKP etc. Then FS tab. You can see this is the original FS tab file here. So try to remove no XCC that I have added. You can see here it is not showing any warning because uh, this is not in read only mode. Save the configuration and come out. Again, check. Yes, you can see uh, FSTAP is modified. So, if you want to know more about the noise EXEC, I have given the video link in the description section. Please watch that video. Now, reboot the server. We have successfully modified the FSTAP, and uh, uh, my server should work properly and server should boot. Do one thing. Go to manage and virtual setting, then here disconnect the DVD. Press OK. Now again, restart the server. 
let's enter here you can see no error is coming on server uh, i hope server will boot properly so friends uh, this is the way we can modify the fs tab in rescue mode using the dvd iso image if the server boot properly means uh, we have successfully modified the fs tab and recover the server It is taking some time, so let's wait to complete the boot process. Cover rebooted again. So let's check I believe server will boot properly and uh, Jiva is coming here yes server recovered so friends one thing I can uh, suggest you before doing any change please take the backup of the server so that uh, you don't have to hesitate and you, you can Roll back the server from the backup in case of any emergency. Try to log in here. Username is root and provide the password. You can see I am able to log into my server. So, friends, I have successfully recovered my server. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to uh, like, share, and comment. So, friends, thanks for watching.